hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our bb.net project and we are on the part 10 now so guys let's begin with that so in this video we are going to start with the admin thing okay so first we are going to create one simple button for the admin and then we'll keep its dashboard and over there all the details of your registered users and billing and your checkout things so that will be shown in your admin side so guys let's get started with it so let me just move a little over here and let's copy and paste and rename this button as admin login so let's right click on it go to its property admin login and just drag this let me just add one background color save and now guys let's rename this name let's go to it. let me pin this first go to the data design over here on this design you are going to see button we'll give this admin login click and double click on this button you will get the admin login button name and now let's type over here me dot hide function and then show the dashboard i mean admin login page so admin login dot show function okay so let's create this admin login form copy this and go to your project let's unpin this property right click add windows form windows form over here and make this as admin login click add here is your form so guys now let's design the login form for admin so first let us take one let me just pin this and let us take label as simple click and drag go to its property move admin login form you can just mention that and give the font size for it to 20 and just drag in the center and simple two labels once again one label copy and paste again second so this will be the name of this will be email id and then second one which is password let's select this booth just press ctrl and select that booth and go to fonts increase the font size let's make it to 12 simple and let's select the text box drag just make it adjustable as per your size drop done and now guys you need a button so one will be so first let us take this button let's give this button name as first font size will change to 12 and the button name we want to give this cancel and you can change the background color over here back color that is let's make it to some other color custom let's give it to red and now copy and paste once again and make this button name first as login now change the background color from red to green let me just set any color okay let's save this this color only and now guys let us click on cancel so once we click on cancel we need to go to welcome page again okay double click so me dot hide function and we want to go to welcome page dot show function save get back to your admin and double click on this login button over here we need to give the coding so guys as we saw in some previous videos about the login system where you saw that login form where we have given this integrated this login for the user purpose 
so let us copy the same code for the admin also so let's go over there to your login code so i'm on login.pb so let me just copy the same thing and work with it so let's copy this copy and let's close this and we are on the admin admin login done paste and guys you need to import these classes let's import system dot data dot sql client that's it so first you need to give this variable connection and command variable and then your connection string your database connection if you don't understand please watch out the video about login system link given in the description so now let's open the connection over here and the command the statement select star from user table so where is our user table in server explorer you can see here so this is my user table with the email column so this is my email column and password column over here email and password so this email.text is nothing but the this text box name we need to rename this so let's go to property and give the design email and second input box which will be the password password save that's it so let's get back to admin login code so double click on this you can see that email.txt and password.txt and now guys this is a normal login code okay we want admin to login right so because we are using the same table for user login and admin login same table so at this way you need to add one more column which will be so let's tell that and user type is equal to inside single quotes you are going to add one so add one which will be your admin type so if it is one means if email id this and password this and user type is one then he will be admin login when he will be logged in that time you are going to call dashboard dot show and now guys you can show you have logged in successfully let's mention admin have logged in successfully so let's create one form called dashboard add new window form dashboard and let's click add over here so this is dashboard so let me just copy that label and paste over here we'll mention welcome to admin dashboard so this will be the form so guys in further videos we will continue with this dashboard design so this video is about admin login so let's get back to code so login on this so you need to check this right user type is there or not into your database so for that let's go to our database users so make sure you are having one user table or register table whatever you have created where you are going to login with that so let's open this right click on it and open table definition okay so guys now let's add that user type so what we have added over here so let's copy this and just paste it user type and we'll give this tiny int and allow this null and add zero so by default it should store as zero this is one more column we are adding into our user table or register table or customer table you have given as per your project so let's update this update database updating let's wait for the check okay it's updated guys so let us refresh this solution explorer you can see the one more column called data type so if you have integrated this and your user table when you are registering it that time this code should be integrated okay so which means for example you go to your register right so at that time this code will give error so make sure you are adding that so let's add that also so let's go to register register now and over here as simple you need to add that okay let's give comma 
single quotes and just add zero over here you don't need to do anything just you need to add this small code that's it in your register form where you are storing into this user table that's it don't get confused and this work is closed that's it save the file and close your register form done and let's get back to admin login and guys now we need to test this let's start cool and now guys let's click on admin login it got closed so why let us just check that let me stop the project and let's go to welcome double click on it admin login button and here also is same thing so it's getting clashed over here guys so you need to just rename this button okay so let's make this admin login to admin button let's just mention that admin button copy this button name and rename over here let's go back just rename this admin button save over here also and now this one will be your admin login form so which means this form will load so let's save once again and let's debug start admin login login form has opened and now let us see that with at gmail.com one two three four five six let's click on login invalid credential invalid login credential okay so it will not fetch any data why because we didn't set the user type so let's set that first let me just stop this stop the project and now let's go to user table first let's show table data and over here you can see guys that two record is there one and two that is with and ohm user type is null so let's make this value as one so one means admin zero means user so let's keep this one and this email id will be considered as admin so let's copy this and yep guys refresh and see that table it is user type one let's close this and let's run again admin login now with at gmail.com one two three four five six and click on login now admin have logged in successfully let's click ok and welcome to admin dashboard so you are inside so let's close this and that's it guys in this video we have completed about admin login system so if you don't understand this code please watch out the video the link given in the description so guys thank you once again please subscribe like and share